Uh, you've been criticized quite a bit for your U-turn on Modi. Only fools don't change yeah. their mind. Today we have with us Tavleen Singh. As someone who's seen an emergency, who's cut her teeth in journalism during that time, and of course uh, now, what do you think of that comparison? It actually doesn't compare. Let's come to Sonia Gandhi. I think actually that she has been a remarkably successful politician. Do you think Congress would survive without the Gandhis? Very easily. Back to the mid-70s. I discovered that no one had interviewed Bindra Wale. Hmm. So I said to uh, the, my you know, bureau chief, I said, why aren't we interviewing this man? Hmm. And he said, nobody wants to go into the Golden Temple. Hmm. And I said, I could go. He said, you're the one, no, who said that you were ashamed of, of being a Sikh. So I thought, oh God, Sikhs, um, you know, got over Pakistan and got on with their lives, you know. It, they're not like, there's a Punjabi saying, khada pita laheda, baki nadir shaheda. What you eat and drink, alag. The rest belongs to nadir shah. Then they said, baki emad shaheda. Today, when words like Khalistani are just thrown around so loosely, especially we've seen over the last one year, it's a very stupid thing that they do. What I've seen in Meerut, you know, in Hashimpura, they put 70 Muslim men in a truck and shot into the truck. Every year there was a bloodletting in which most of the victims were Muslim. So I get that it was a sham for the Congress, but why would you assume that Modi would come up with something better? I'm actually very worried about, you know, these words like majoritarianism and fascism and all that. And I think you need to be a bit careful. Especially I'm talking about television media and owners and proprietors and big editors, star anchors. I think there are some anchors <laughs> who are totally committed to the Hindutva project 